Hello, this is Victor at HistoryMercedes.com. This video is for Herbert in New York, and this is E320 or 300E throttle actuator, non ASR unit. As you can see, it opens right away. And just want to show the operation readings before I close the case back down and have it ready to be mailed back. So, this is the way it cleaned off quite nicely. So I have no problems with that. The case is still open. I'll show you why in a minute. But um, the wires were bad, yes. But um, I haven't finished it off yet because I wanted to double check internals before I totally close it up. So this has been on my bench for a long time. It's a very, very cold day today in New York. It's like 15 degrees out and feels like negative something think but this is the in a workshop it's been called too so therefore the temperature of the unit is not going to be very very hot but it's been on the bench activated for quite a long time let's just see if I can okay let's just see I'll show you another unit this came in for repair um, actually so you can compare the temperature of cold unit to a warm unit. I'll just see this other one that I'm going to work on today. Actually, I should have prepared it for the video, but well, it is what it is. Okay, oh, look at that. It came with the hose. Somebody did remove it with the hose. Unbelievable. You usually break the hose. This is a V8 unit. And it came from Caribbeans. Well, anyway. Oh, that's pretty bad. Well, so we have to deal with. Jesus. Yeah, pretty bad. Oh well. Okay, so this is the cold unit. It hasn't been touched. So we compare the two real quick. As you can see, this one sits at about 51. Yours sits at 98. So what that makes me think is that the coil is good because it's been working for a long time and it has not shut off after hours of operation okay let's take a look at readings <clears throat> so we have our potentiometers upper and lower voltages that's about right where they are 4.39 4.37 that's about good we have lower potentiometer change in value because that's the primary one and when I move the linkage it does change so I'll show you in a second how to get the other potentiometer to change value the other one is basically for cruise control so we're not um, you know we don't need to well anyway as you can see the unit is energized okay I move the gears motor returns it to the position where it needs to be you can also see that the potentiometer is over there also change a little bit because i'm moving the gear inside next thing what i want to do is i want to get it into limp mode so i can actually get secondary potentiometer which is this one to move around so for that i'll just pull the gear out see the motor tries to bring it to proper location I can alter it as you can see if I move if I'm secondary potentiometer I can bring the plate at the angle that's supposed to be so the motor stops spinning very fine so anyway let's take a look at the secondary potentiometer reading when I move this plate I have to get it into limp mode first All right, let's get this into the limp mode Come on. Doesn't want to get into limp mode, of course. Come on. Okay. Let me get it into limp mode the other way.
And it's very difficult to do this with one hand, to be honest with you. Because I have to still put this gear. I'm doing this all life, so it's very, very difficult. Let me try once more. I don't want to pause the video so you see this is happening as I am recording it. There, the gear is back in, so get to limp mode. That's it, it's the limp mode. Uh, computer restarted. Oh well, let's try once more. It went into real hard limp mode. So I can't get it to show. Yeah, okay. Let's get the values to show again. There are values. And let's try to open up the secondary potentiometer. There we are. As you can see, the top value changes as well. M16 slash 2R2. This is the secondary potentiometer here. And this primary follows because they're on the same they're on the same shaft. So they move around together. You can hear a nice noise from potentiometer, it's moving in there as you can see, tiny little thing there. And the clutch coil is active, so all is good. This is all non-conductive here, so that's all fine, it's flux. And yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is resolder all these, just in case, and off it will be ready. All right, so this was a little longer video than usual, but it is what it is. Let's see if I can also show another thing is, the safety contact on the bottom as you can see m16 slash s2 i mean s1 if i move the linkage switch changes so it's operational everything's working all right so i'm gonna cut it quits and um have this thing ready to go all right so this is all this is victor at restoremercedes.com thank you for watching